guys, I'm Katie Age here, and welcome back to the Super Mario RPG Restricted Weapons Still Death Run. And last time, our efforts to get information from in this land have not only succeeded, but actually created a witch in the process, leading to not only now destroying Bowser Princess in the Royal who actually does something by continuing to accompany us in our journey. But things are not quite over yet, of course. But the good news is that with Nalo now being a royal, there's one more thing in Nimbus Land to cover. Up ahead are the hot springs. The only royalty is allowed. Hey, you're the real prince! Sorry about the misunderstanding before. There's no way that fat bird could have been a prince, huh? No big deal. Anyway, do you think you could let us through here? Of course. Got I at it. Please enjoy yourselves. But be careful not to fall on the volcano. Sure thing. So where'd the hot spring to? Wait a minute. Dodo was benefiting from the false bridge ton at the wood spot time. Ah, uh, Dodo, I want to sympathize with you over your being abused by Valentina, but you opted to benefit from, from a change in this conspiracy that you were actively a willing part of. Just, uh, why? <sighs> right, so, anyway, we can relax in the hot spring if Restores our HP and FP. Mm. Of course, we get a comedic catch if we stay in for too long and Mario gets overheated and jump, jump, jumps out. In fact, do not ask me why Dodo is vulnerable to fire when he had just been relaxing in the hot spring during our fight with Valentina. I think he should have been vulnerable to bolt due to him being a bird. And also to make a Mallow shocker more meaningful. The better show that Mallow isn't simply lucky with both his parents and his proper grandpa. But at least we see some of the idiotic jokes that we sometimes see from Hot Spring involvement. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Danger, beyond the cliffs is the volcano. Ooh, a volcano. I kind of when I heard about how Batman was next to a volcano. Anyway. That now tells us that if we jump off this cliff, ah, we fall into the volcano. Welcome to Barrel Volcano, where confection to infection is a, a thing. A far cry from what happens in the Metroid series. Especially Metroid on our M. I mean, the whole thing is so bad in most of the Metroid games. That's right, another M. I'm looking at you for how stupid you are with this whole thing. We can actually jump in the lava, and it just bounces up to the entrance of the room. No real gameplay effects otherwise. And that one, taking damage from jumping in the lava would not be a thing in all the Paper Mario games. Or can jump south to get get pretty small platform. Patience is a virtue. So, yeah. We see that. We see some magmises, which are palette swaps from magmites. And there were pyrospheres, which are palette swaps from orchids. And there's a bomber. That's a dry bones. That's a dry bones palette swap. Complete with, uh, complete with having zero HP, but only being felled by special attacks or pure water. At least in combat. Excuse me, Magnus. I'm going to beat this other Magnus over here. Uh. Yeah, I baited that other Magnus and be able to get the money from that chest safely. Oh! The treasure chest actually holds an invincibility star, but I do not wish to milk it, of course. Even though this room does make it tempting, I will say that. That card for like just above mm, mm, caused enough to break that brings down for or Lincoln's and that we have to drop the room very quickly! Whoa! Neener Neener! Ha! <laughs> ah. Now we can actually 
think Gip had the the cork to die with with a precision jump. Yeah, like that. No need to battle it. And we had to do some more jump trickery. Because, yeah, the bonus are a thing. Yeah. A precision jump to grab that proc one coin from the lava. Getting around the climbing speed. Again, patience is a virtue. With the rock going above the entrance of the screen, we can't reach it by normal means. What we can do instead is exit and re-enter the screen from the, from the exit of the screen, and then jump on the lava, and the fast back to the entrance will land us on top of the exit where we can get the drop point. <laughs> yeah, making use of cartoons physics. I mean, what next? Are we going to... Make use of a deep big boo, a freaking ghost, the, the reason I have a treasure chest that we're not supposed to be able to reach so much later, and it end up. Getting the back. End up only getting a flower, and only getting the item we're supposed to get. When we're supposed to get the item. Anyway, in that room I was a very boring move because that's something right above at the disjointed hitbox with, a, with the encounter. And you can't run from something. Okay. Got that. Over here, Orlington. Yeah, that room one to be a little obnoxious, but nothing too bad. I'm gonna make more porn linkage to the bottom. Oh, get the star Oh, okay, good. We're right above and all four horn linkage are below, but. You might notice that the corpidite is blocking our way. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have no choice but to fight it. And I'm showcasing my dad because, yeah. It's always accompanied by this, by an Orlinkin. Lincoln. There's no second end Orlinkin name, please. Anyway, Orlinkin is basically a palace wall that is spiky. Corkvidite, meanwhile, is a unique gimmick of... If we defeat either party, the other part will crumble on their turn. Although the body... If, Although the main body is not destroyed first, will one to use Psyche to self-destruct? And naturally, it has more HP. This is going to matter too much because we have a nice little thing to get around it. Well, really, most of the enemies in Bear Walking now are having plenty of physical Enemies in their volcano are the game's ice. Because, yeah, naturally, fire. Yeah, that's, that damage is what you remember when players will enjoy. And it's actually not even needed, believe it or not. My use of spell time and bonus effects, it's not even needed because, uh, the main head has 200 HP, the body has 300. The body would actually fall with some, with a few rotations, so yeah. And we have another important encounter because of Hitbox shenanigans. Yeah, try as I might, I can't get past that. We have to dump it. This thing actually has 500 HP. Actually, we'll see soon as not. Oh, and his physical defense is actually good, so father's. Even Bowser's not doing that damage. Bowser's knowing though will knock up a good chunk of Stumpet's HP. Stumpet's behavior is similar to Heavy Truth's. The monster is getting furious. I want to showcase one particular thing. 
Backfire. If you're wondering, Mellow was defending, and I did block that, but Stubborn actually has 200 physical attack. So. Backfire simply has a 1x modifier, so, you know, Stubborn has still a 200 physical attack. The highest of any regular battle move in the game, bar none. Ah, I did not block that. That's Tough Mario to take damage. I'm gonna heal Mario real quick. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm what I'm doing, I'm waiting for somebody. Ah, here we go. Bubble Boom. Yeah, Bubble Boom actually yeah, I actually blocked Bubble Boom. But it, believe me, it actually hits harder than the backfire because Baba Boom has a 1.5x multiplier. Yeah. So yeah, Stubbit actually has that 1.5x multiplier attack that I was wondering why Heavy Troop but that have to make better use of a high physical attack. Yeah, I'm hitting Stubbit with another stone. I gotta kill them several times over at this point, but... <sighs> oh! The bright magnet trying to force him to the new counter. But no problem. Uh oh. Okay, are you cooperative? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? And I'm the bright you You get a comedy if I stop it. But hey! Oh, and this guy. Hey there! Whew, I thought I heard footsteps. For a minute, I thought I was done! I'm in a wheel! This place is a regular inferno! Come on, step inside! So yeah, we are at the handle mark. I'm going to just play the input for a while. You know, we'll alternate between three counters depending on where we are. On the left counter, welcome to the item shop. And, <laughs> Hino is so, selling up supplies. We don't need to worry about that, thankfully. Welcome to the end. Dirty going from get your room. Sure, why not? You're dang great. I'll get everything ready for you. Nice. Now, we don't get something like the Dream Cushion. Mm. Although I imagine that would mm, easily be, mm, go up in flames anyway, because we're inside a volcano, so... <sighs> I mean, hey, we're working with cartoon physics already. Morning! Now wasn't that a cushy bed? We're already working with confections and infection and other cartoon physics. So we can't be too choosy about what we get. On the right mm, counter, Welcome to the armor shop. Well, first things first, I should sell, mm, sell the sailor equipment. But anyway, Hina Field mm, sells fire armor, which actually doesn't protect against fire. But you can use... But they are still upgrades, so yeah. Granted, they aren't the most impressive upgrades ever, but take what you can get, again. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you, Hanabio. Oh, and... We have a couple of references. We have a few references. This is the R-Wing from Star Fox. Mm. Fox McCloud and his keen note that Star Fox make use of it, of course. This is, of course, the Blue Falcon. No point forgetting who the pilot is. So it, mm, it's naturally from F-Zero. And this is Fire Sting Ray, piloted by Samurai Goro from F Zero. Again. <sighs> so, yeah, cameos. I mean, I I even heard about F Zero 99. I do keep things. I do keep an eye around for news. Anyway. 
Oh, safe block. Something about this between video games, suspicious video games are not safe, but anyway. Thanks for talking about it. You can always come back, you know. You're welcome. And, yeah, the end is this far into the volcano, right? I'm going to have to make a switch. Just because of RNG shenanigans. Being a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I switched out Mallow for Princess. You, you might think that would be a bad idea with what's coming up, but, uh... Just showcasing my character stats for what's coming up. Some of this box. Once again, patience is hard too. Just remember, remember the ball. Now you're walking, and that's the North Jennifer stuff writing will teach. Well, before Bumblebee becomes a thing. And here's the fight involved that involves why I switched out Mal. Hi there! This is the Char Dragon. He's not doing anything yet, but if we just attack him, he can randomly counterattack us, which we're used to this at this point because uh, after Dodo and Mega Smile X. Oh, you're 19 at the not. Oh, right. So, Char Dragon is. He can either cast a spell or will do a physical attack and then summon the Helios almost right away. It, 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 he won't summon the Helios after, mm, right after the mm, right after spell you. He's still plenty dangerous, and I'm using an all hitting attack because the Helios can actually. Oh, and yeah, they're right. Also, triples. Char Dragon Fear, because Char Dragon is not immune to fear. The Helios will merge the self destructive blitz along, mercifully with a 1x multiplier. But, uh. And there's a good example of a counter attack. Okay, you're going. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Why do I have input to wait to say people? But anyway, the Helios each have 140 physical attack, it, and they do have power in numbers. Worrying about what is happening. Char Dragon, Char Dragon does have firewall among its spells, but it doesn't deal a lot of damage. And it's also elemental, so it won't do much to Bowser since he has a safety ring equipped. No, the real problem it comes in one of his other spell alternatives. He can use Water Blast, which... I suppose Water Blast involves a burst of involves a demon burst and such. Uh, I'm trying to make sense of a fire dragon using a water attack over that. In case you can tell. Oh, there we go. Block that. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm using hair right because. Oh, hi there. You survived the helium. Yeah, Val is not in this party, but 
That's a nasty problem. I should mention that Star Dragon can use Water Blast whenever he feels like it. He can RNG you that way. Heck, this fight is potential RNG. Char Dragon is uncooperative. Okay, was that his counterattack? No. Oh, that's the Water Blast! And, like I say, Char Dragon can use Water Blast whenever he feels like it, so. I'm surprised that dealt less damage than what I was expecting. Oh, right! Char Dragon would still be under Terrorite. eventually wears off, and of course, and so Tar Dragon eventually can use Water Blast when he's not under Terrorite, and it's only a few turns later he can use Water Blast AGAIN! And that, that can need a fallen character, because now we can't heal everybody fast to, to keep up. I mean, if it weren't for the Helios, he, Malo would basically be taking out the Princess. Mind that Char Dragon is weak in size. So. Uh, Thunderbolt would be an obvious solution for destroying the Helios. Uh, again, power in numbers, it is a thing. You know what? I don't like your HP value. take 130 damage, but it's honestly it's stuck. If you're wondering about the add damage, Thalmon adds 190 physical attack and then one and then 60 physical defense, so yeah. Anyway, Thalmon always starts with Boulder and you see it it's like a truck. He's also immune to all debuffs except for one. If you would be so kind to do oh and right can still counterattack. That's very nasty. But why did I do that? Oh my god, that's way don't tell about her. Oh. Okay, I'm going to 
quite rather annoying on the bed. Okay. Because believe it or not, someone is actually vulnerable to mute. Just in case, the monster is mute. Yes. I think that because Stomp on can can use particularly nasty spells. Now I should note this. Stomp on has a moderate chance of using a spell. Storm is particularly dangerous, but you can't discount Blast either. But Storm is the worst threat. It can deal a lot of damage to Bowser. The good news is that Stomp on does not have good. Good physical defense. He has only 60 big physical defense that I mean. He has one magic defense, so even though he's weak to jump and bolt, shocker and ultra jump will be inefficient. <laughs> Gotta heal Bather in case Mute wears off. Because Mute probably will wear off eventually. And allow Thumbbone to rampage with his belt again. Uh oh. Oh, what the? How did Mario not get deep up there? I don't get it. Or just uh, scream out of this. Game wants me to continue, but I don't want to continue yet. <sighs> okay, so we're back here. <sighs> uh, so yeah. 
heading any deeper into the wall, can you? Yeah. So, yeah. I just have to rest at this point. 